defense against despair when it comes to praying for stuff. God would teach us to pray, give us this day our daily bread. And this is actually the sum of most of our prayers. God, can I have this thing, please? God, make sure that I have enough money. Make sure that I have enough stuff. Make sure that I have enough food. Make sure I have enough everything. And we get to recognize something really, really uncomfortable, but comforting, that uh, God gives daily bread to everyone even without our prayers. If you have never ever prayed that give us this day our daily bread, you've still gotten daily bread. Even evil people get daily bread. But we pray this petition that God would lead us to realize this and receive our daily bread with thanksgiving. See, God gives daily bread. He gives stuff. He gives everything that has to do with the support and needs of this body and life to even unbelievers, even evil people, because he loves sinners. It, it, it's a great joy to know that God loves sinners, even when you struggle to love them that God loves you, even when you struggle to deserve it. Here, you have something to hang on to when you pray, because it's it's no longer simply marked by how much stuff do I have that must be how much God loves me. Uh, but but rather, this is what God is doing to care for me in this body and life, and ultimately to, to lead me towards salvation. That That is his will, not just to give you some nice stuff down here until you die, but to care for you, even in this body and life, until he can bring you unto the glories of the life everlasting to come. When we pray for stuff, um, it's easy to just focus on the stuff. But when you recognize that the, the bread is just daily bread, it, it's just the thing to get you through the day, then tomorrow actually becomes the thing that that is something you can look forward to. Because now, now it's not all on this one moment, all on this one thing, but a God who took care of you before will take care of you today and will bring you forward into the joys of not just tomorrow, but the endless day where... The, the every tear is wiped from our eye where we will eat and drink everything that we would need to find joy and, and comfort and fulfillment, uh, where even now we can eat and drink his body and blood to be tied to that victory, even today. We pray for daily bread, not because if we don't ask, God won't give, but because we need to recognize where this stuff comes from so that we can receive it with thanksgiving. Because if we don't receive daily bread with thanksgiving, it's always with fear. Because it, it's finite, because it might run out, because I might not get more. But if it's just something else that God gives us, well, God didn't change between yesterday and today. So why am I worried about getting stuff tomorrow? Give us this day our daily bread and help me receive it with thanksgiving.